Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be doing a scraped painting. I haven't done a scraped painting in a while. I'm going to try to do a lined painting where it's got, you know, these very small, thin lines going across the painting. The problem with those paintings is that they're very kind of delicate, so if you don't get it right, um, it's very easy to mess them up. So they look very cool if you can pull them off, but I've had a lot of paintings that I've ruined trying to make this and it just didn't work. So we're going to try. We're going to do our best. Um, that's all we can do, right? It's just, just try and do our best. So I'm going to put a little extra tape down. Uh, just because I always, almost always paint from left to right when I do scrape paintings. So the paint's going to kind of build up on this. I want to try to keep it off the board as much as possible, just so that I don't have a bunch of bumps all over the board. Uh, the colors we're working with, light yellow, you won't be able to see all of them, I don't think. Um, and I have my transmitter on the phone, so it'll be a little difficult to move. But we've got uh, light yellow. We've got a almost like a lilac, um, really light purple, pink, kind of a fuchsia, uh, white, and gold. And so what we're going to do is we're going to drizzle the paint across the paper and then we're going to go back and we're going to pull this little uh, scraper through it. Now, this is something you can get at like Home Depot. Uh, it's just very thin bristles. It's for like painting uh, corners in houses. Uh, so it's just like a little thin bristle brush. The only thing I don't like about this thing is that these bristles fall out very easily. So they might end up in the painting. But anyway... Let's go ahead and uh, put our paint on. We'll just start with the yellow since it's the closest. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it in these kind of thin lines to begin with um, so that once we run through it, uh, it'll kind of, it's already going in that direction, if that makes sense. So one problem is that, uh, that I've had in the past is when I did scrape paintings, I would just put all the paint on one side and scrape it across. However, the, uh, the paint wouldn't fill the whole painting. It would stop like halfway, two-thirds. And so it would just keep leaving all these these uh, empty spaces on the on the paper or the, the canvas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drizzle the paint all the way across so that we have, you know, the paint already going that direction. And we're going to overlap these paints uh, a little bit so that we know that they're that it's covered. And I'm going to put these over on the other side um, once I've used them. You know, looking at these colors now, I didn't think about it before, but they, uh, they kind of look like Easter colors, so I think inherently I'm painting an Easter painting, and I didn't mean to. Great. All right, so let's get those in there, and maybe some more pink. I don't think it'll... I don't think it can hurt to have too much pink. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to do kind of this uh, dark fuchsia looking color. Magenta? Maybe that's the color it's closest to? I actually don't know. I don't even know the name of this color. A lot of traffic outside today. All right. I think we're pretty good there. So now we've got some crisscrossing lines here. And now we'll put in white. The white is kind of a it's like a balance. Um, yeah, the background is white, but we don't want the background to show. We're going to put the white in there for balance. Um, also as a filler, to be honest, like it'll kind of help fill the painting out and break up some of the colors. Um, so we're going to put some white in there. And I think that's good. And then we're going to end with gold because I don't know if I've made a painting where gold didn't make it better. All right, so we've got gold in there. We'll do a line of gold up here. And I think I think that's pretty good. But I am going to add a little bit more of this to the painting. I want to kind of go back over the areas I went over in the first place. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of the light purple because I feel like it's getting lost. I'll add it to the bottom, add it here, and add it here, there. And then I think the only color that's really left that's kind of getting neglected is the yellow. 
I actually don't even see it on here anymore. So we're going to go ahead and put a healthy dose of that. And right now it just kind of looks like a mess that's going to um, until we start going over it. Okay, so here we go. We've got all of our colors. It looks kind of like a mess. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're just going to start at one end. And we're going to push down pretty hard. Not super hard, but hard enough for it to really kind of grip the paint. And we're just going to pull this through. And we want to try to keep it nice and even. Uh, kind of a slow, continuous movement to really push this paint through and get these nice, clean lines. All right, and you see how how much paint there was left over after doing that? It's a lot. Um, so we're going to go ahead and move into our next one. All right, there's a little bit of a break here, but I, I kind of like it. It makes it so it's not perfect. Well, actually, I don't know if I do like it. <laughs> this is something I kind of struggle with. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean it up. We're going to slow it down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now we've got those clean lines. A little bit of breakage in there, but I think that's okay. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and go over this part now. Okay, I wasn't pushing hard enough, so you can see that part of the, uh, the canvas is coming through. So we're going to go through it again. We're going to get those parts covered up. All right. And then we're going to kind of do our funnel area here. I'm turn it because I'm running out of room. We'll overlap a little bit of the area we already did. Okay. So now we've got this issue of having too much paint here. So I'm going to go over this area again, but kind of really try to push this paint out. And I think we succeeded. All right, so we're going to put that into water so that that can soak. And we're going to take a look. And I did move my light, actually. So um, when you see my paintings, there shouldn't be as much glare because I did move my uh, light. So let me take my gloves off, and we'll take a look. You see how quick and easy this painting was? But it looks phenomenal. All right, give me a second. I'll move my fingers so you can see. You see there's no glare and look at how clean these lines are now there's that break right there um, that you can see in the middle of the screen but that's okay I, I don't mind a little bit of the color showing through I didn't like that big patch of color coming through because it kind of it broke it up too much but now that we've got some uniformity here and I'll kind of zoom out maybe I'll take a snapshot for the thumbnail there we go and we'll kind of look at some of these up close uh, lines. Do you see how thin those are? I mean, those are paper thin lines almost. And this is why I kind of like using that little tool uh, because it, it just makes these really thin lines that are just really cool. I think now there's not enough light over here, ironically enough, right? Now I can't focus, uh, but there it is. But, and I think the, the colors were actually a pretty good choice too. Um, again, I don't know of a painting where gold didn't make it better, um, but you can see the excess paint here, right? You can see how much extra paint there was. That's what I was talking about. So I did. I still didn't even use enough uh, tape to, to kind of close that off, but that's what happens. However, 
the caveat is, is if you go over it too many times to try to fix it, those colors start to bleed together and then you lose that distinction. So overall, phenomenal painting. I'm super impressed with it. I really like it. And I think that this technique is one that it just creates these really uniform looking paintings. They're not perfect. You can see that the angle is different here than it is here. However, it's pleasing to the eye because it's just very calming. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the tape off and I already know it's going to be a mess. So I'm going to just do it off of the screen. Um, but ultimately a success. I think it was great. I will probably do more of these. If you want to see more of these uh, line paintings, let me know in the comment section so I know to do those. But anyway, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. God bless. Take care. See you in the next one.